Uh, three, two, one. <laughs> Hello, all my hypotheticals. It's Flare Two, and I'm <laughs> I'm here with Star of Wisdom, Traposer, and Connor, and, <laughs> and Kingsley. And Kingsley, and, and Kingsley, Kingsley hey. the video. <laughs> just like slide up another screen that's like this hastily drawn in version of Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> it's, there's like pop prints all over it. <laughs> it's just like an MS Paint version drawing of Kingsley. Yeah. Kingsley, come here. Don't just sit over there and bark. Come here. <laughs> 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 He's not moving. That's the thing. <laughs> anyway, hi. <laughs> hi. Uh, well, uh, the topic of today is generations, as mentioned in the previous episode, and Star of Wisdom is going to yes. kick us off <laughs> with that. <laughs> <laughs> See, it doesn't bother me, but I know there's going to. You guys, gonna... you guys uh, said you wanted a spicier recording. <laughs> yeah, I did. Very spicy. <laughs> Ooh, the spice! Ooh, yeah! yeah. But anyways... Right. <laughs> anyway... Go ahead. Go ahead, Joops. Yes, you, so... You rap generations. Here's, here's the thing, so kind of like I was alluding to in the episode, my, my issue with the attempt to classify people <laughs> into generations... <laughs> is that... <laughs> is that... It seems... It seems like... It seems inaccurate because so much of the time you classify a generation as like you were born in this particular set of years. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't seem accurate to me at all, especially because I think generations have gotten shorter over time because there is a drastic difference in terms of, you know, ideology and experience and, you know, what it's like growing up as a result of the prominent technologies. Mm -hmm. And because we're in this era where technology, or we've been in an era where technology has advanced so much faster than it used to, I think that, at least from my perspective, that's a more accurate place to start trying to define what is a generation. And, you know, that's a, a problem with that is that it's inconsistent because varying different, um, different populations have different access to technology. Yeah. So that is that is one problem with that. But I think that I, I just think that the concept of a generation itself is kind of outdated. And mm -hmm. it bothers me when people try to generalize an entire group by saying, oh, those millennials or oh, those Gen Zers. And it's like, as someone who doesn't particularly identify with either of those groups, and because I hear these stereotypes about them, I'm like, well, some of those apply, but some of them don't. And it's just like, I don't know. That, that's my thing about generations, is where I feel like it's not the most accurate way to generalize a, a group, and I feel like it ends up causing more harm than good. And, mm -hmm. yeah, so anyway, all, all of those initial thoughts are what I've got, and I'm interested to hear what, what your guys' reactions are. Uh, who, who wants to take this? Uh, I, I like... Go oh, oh. Kingsley, over to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went on mute. Kingsley's settled down. He, okay, he stopped. He stopped just screaming. <laughs> <sighs> um. Well, I've got uh something to say, I guess, or I, I could I could ramble through some thoughts. Yeah, and yeah. Let's string them together. Um. So, as the youngest of this group, I would technically fall into Gen Z if we're using mm -hmm. that classification but seeing as the point of this is to not um do right. that i have always grown up um not really feeling like i was uh really not really feeling like i fit in with my age group um mm -hmm. and really out of the uh friends that i've had growing up there's only like two or yeah there's like two that i still have um mm -hmm. that i i haven't and i just haven't made friends easily um among those in my age group however with jupiter the, the, it's no secret i don't think that i, I am his younger brother um <laughs> but uh i've always <laughs> dang it they don't, ever don't tell them um, <laughs> That's, that's the hundred episode, uh, or the hundredth episode of uh, the Pokemon stream. Like, uh, that's the goal. That's that's the that? reveal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Who's yeah, that? right. You just have to get to 100 episodes. Chingling before. is the pre evolution to Chime Echo. Ew. <laughs> it's like a bell. Gross. That's unfortunate. It's it's, it's like a dead. Um, <laughs> go on, carry on, Asa. Um, but I've always been able to get along with and um, sort of feel more understood by, um, and I understand those of Jupiter's age, Jupiter's mm -hmm. friends. I've always, um, and that's something I'm I'm very grateful for is that Jupiter has always welcomed me into um hanging out with his friends I mean, you're you're also very mature for for your age and like your your ability to interact with people you know like you're operating on a higher level than your peers <laughs> is what it comes i down think to. <laughs> i think it's true but i don't think it i think that's because i have spent so much time with those older Maybe. than me all the time when i was growing up mm -hmm. i it's probably um, a two-way system. Yeah. So, I mean, that's my perspective on it. The other thing is, seeing as we're talking about it from a perspective of technology, I technically still don't have a functioning cell phone. Um, I, I don't have a cell phone with a plan. No, I don't have the ability. I don't have, like, data. And, um, but that's less significant. I suppose the most significant thing is that I, we used, as Jupiter mentioned in the last episode, I think, um, or maybe this was between episodes, but uh, we used dial-up internet until I was in maybe fifth grade, early sixth grade, yeah. which was which like was, For me, when I was in high school, like, it, took, it, it took me getting to high school before we finally were like, ah, I better get some internet for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you would always an go to online, that's another thing learn. that we should mention is that when we were in middle school we went to a school that was half online and we did that with dial-up internet so yep ha -ha! Oh, using um yeah yeah i think what so, i would what i would yeah. point out about that that's another reason why i don't like this generational idea that like you belong to a particular generation because you have exceptions like us where we had dial up way longer than anyone else but that doesn't necessarily mean that i don't know people are in different situations and i think to generalize everyone under a a specific like generational headline like this is these are commonalities among everyone of your age is just it's dangerous to do that you know okay to over generalize and uh yeah <laughs> okay yeah. so like you you think just in general like uh grouping people up by generation um it has has had something to do more with like events and technology and stuff but because of uh like exceptions like you guys that's not a good way of doing it so like, no no i i'm saying that there are so many people in so many different circumstances that this this conceived notion that anyone in a group is all following a particular set of like commonalities between them i think that that's dangerous okay. and lo looking at us as partially an example of of being in that exception category but that's what i was talking about my, my first point was different populations because you'd look at rural populations that would have had slower mm -hmm. access to like later access to internet that wouldn't be the weirdest thing ever and you know i i i yeah i i'm getting I, I, there's a lot of nuance in this idea my main thing is just that i think that a big part of putting people into generations and dividing people that way is exactly that it's divisive and it's more often used as an attack or a put down than as anything actually useful you know, like it's not an actual like if you want to talk about people who were born in the 90s, there is a description for that. And it is our age. There is already something, a concrete marker of when someone was born and the so time just, period that they were growing up in. So just saying I'm a 90s kid, I'm an 80s kid, I'm a I'm a 2000s kid. Like, that's just better than just saying, oh, I'm Gen Z. I'm uh, uh, or even even more than that. I think that like in the in the in these scenarios where it's actually useful to know someone's age, like a survey, mm -hmm. for example, yeah. it's better to just say people in their 20s, you know, like that's a much more accurate way 
of of measurement as far as i'm concerned sure okay and and that the yeah i think that we have this this issue of i don't know every time that i hear people talk about a generation like as a in generational terms it's always used as it's very rarely positive you know and it's always uh, like the it's always the older generation talking bad about the younger generation or vice versa where mm-hmm. you're you're saying something like oh those th- that's typical of the baby boomers to be like that mm, and okay. i just think i just think it's not helpful to have any system where it's othering people and particularly because generations are used to group people together and say that they all have this common experience when that's not even true it's okay. it's just challenging i i think it's yeah and i think in the past part of my my argument here also is that in the past i think the idea of a generation was more applicable because i think they could go for longer periods of time but i just personally believe that the experiences that we have while growing up while growing up nowadays are so influenced by the technology around us that I think we probably shift generations if that is even like a real concept. I think we would have different generations every, you know, five years. It would be a new generation. And and people don't like that idea because traditionally generation a longer a generation is a it's it's a it's an obscure term. It's a vague term that I think is ill defined. <laughs> yeah. Can someone answer this question for me? Why yes. do I keep running into so many Cresselia? This is the <laughs> third one. It's probably the most common encounter on that route. Uh, no, they're all trainer battles. Like, oh, <laughs> they're oh surely they've caught battles. them on that route. <laughs> I, I am incensed at this point. And then the other battle that I had was an Agron, and so that was ten oh, minutes. God, yes. Agrons are annoying, yeah. <laughs> I'm having fun. We're having fun. Good, good, I'm glad. Um, yeah, I've, like, growing up, my understanding of generations was just like, oh, like, uh, that's just how my ancestors go by. So, like, if I- I'm, like, let's say a... Let- let's say my last name is Johnson, you know? Like, mm-hmm. my I'm a 10th generation Johnson, or whatever. Um, oh, yeah. Yep. And so, like, you think of it in terms of that, um, yeah. but then, but then, like, there's the technical term of generations of, like, how, I guess, companies and, and the government might try to keep track of you on things. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And that's, I think, mostly what you're, to what you're referring. Yes. And so yeah. I, I, I get that. That makes yeah. things a little... Um, right. I, 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 was good. I just wouldn't use the term generations at that point. I would just, like, yeah. grouping, like, oh, I'm a... I'm... I'm a Delta. <laughs> I, I'm right. part of Group Delta, or whatever. I am maybe... part of Delta Team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and like, I understand Delta that maybe some Delta. people would be like, "Well, I don't want to be categorized <laughs> like I'm some sort of like robot or like uh, piece uh-huh. of equipment or whatever." And it's like, okay, that's fine. Then don't go about doing that. But I guess like in terms of just paperwork, surveys, polls, whatever, maybe mm-hmm. that's just what you do. Um, but I, I, I do think it's interesting that we still, you're right, this is something that's kind of extremely outdated, like, why are mm-hmm. we still clinging to this idea that, um, we're just gonna group people based off of, quote-unquote, common occurrences between their age groups, and, like, right. cause I remember reading, like, the start of Gen Z is, if you can't remember the, the events of 9-11, and then I read somewhere else, is like, if you were born in 1996, you, you're, uh, you're a Gen Z, it's like, well, that that's kind of an arbitrary both of those are arbitrary measurements because yeah someone could just have really good memory as a two-year-old so uh-huh. like i guess they just fall into the 9-11 group because <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah which is great always fall into the 9-11 group haha <laughs> <laughs> 9-11 group <laughs> yep. i think i i understand why those markers would be chosen because so much of the work like post 9-11 the world is drastically different but yes! I, I still agree that <laughs> Anytime you're dividing something based on something like that, there are going to be... I mean, it was arguably a bigger deal in the U.S. than in other parts of the world, too. So it's not like generations are even applicable to the entire world. And, yeah. What did you catch, Connor? 
I didn't catch smart. anything. My, oh. my goal bat lived an explosion from Red Ice. <laughs> because I, I'm in a trainer battle, and I it was like, they're sending out Red Ice, and I was like, I know it's got explosion. I'm not uh -huh. <laughs> I'm not letting something live that I need die to this. Yeah. Yeah, my uh, yeah. did not live to an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well... Oh, rip. What? What's a destiny knot? It's for breeding. Cool. But also, also, it like has a chance of infatuating the opponent. Opponent if they're the opposite gender. Hmm. Okay. 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 <laughs> Could have had a magikarp <laughs> instead of an Illumis. Does the Bastiodon have any move other than taunt? <laughs> it has. Uh... It has takedown. <laughs> <laughs> and protect. Yeah. Great. What a cool. fun Pokemon to battle. Yep. Level 15. Neato. <laughs> What's your ability? You've got a bad ability. You're out. Raises speed if hit by an electric type move. Well, you're bug flying, so... Mm. Oh, you're just bug. So yeah, I'm I'm just curious to hear... I don't know. I, I, have, I feel like I have this kind of strong reaction against the generational qualifier term and i'm just it's interesting to me if other people maybe don't feel that so much uh, i don't necessarily i haven't put a ton of thought into mm. it other than just like trying to figure out what the hell am i right um, that's my bigger question is which generate because for the longest time i thought i felt millennial and then i told that to no, my mom and my grandma the other no. day and they laughed and i was like yeah. but then why do i always feel like the stuff that's getting leveled at the group that i perceive myself to belong to is called millennial and so mm -hmm. that that confuses me then is where I'm like, mm -hmm. well, OK, then if I'm not a millennial, I'm definitely not Gen Z. That doesn't fit with my understanding Why not? of who I am, because Gen Z, the, the again, stereotype is that they grew up with technology. They are the kids who have always had access to cell phones, always had access to, to Internet, whereas Life. I clearly remember not having Internet. I clearly remember having, you know, the only way I was going to get pictures was with a disposable camera. And I feel like there is a clear difference there in terms of like experiencing the world just before it was all connected and having clear memories of the world just before it was all connected. Like that feels significant to me in a way that the current breakdown of Gen Z is the generation after millennials doesn't take into consideration. But if other people don't feel that, then I guess that's just a me thing. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I mean, I feel that. But I mean, I. Oh, sorry, Zach. I, no, no, I wasn't really gonna add anything. Go ahead. Okay, I mean, I feel like Jupiter. That this is a interesting case that is probably limited to our family. Not saying amongst uh -huh. everybody, but um, in this in this group at least, because yeah. I think it was a pretty unique situation, <laughs> for better, for worse. Um, yeah, the dial-up. But I mean, I mean, you guys remember having ha having disposable cameras, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or I mean, like I didn't a landline one, phone. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. I mean, landline phone. And like, so those—that's the kind of technology where even beyond just us having, you know, dial-up internet for an extra long time, other people in our generation also remember a time where, like these technologies were just becoming obsolete and i don't know i think i i still think that there's something significant about that that isn't isn't recognized by a wider society that likes the idea of classifying things into neat boxes of generations yeah i i don't know <laughs> it's it's hard because like that's just kind of like i don't know that's with the way that our that our society like prioritizes individualism like i think that's going to be like kind of a an inevitable part of of what happens i sure. i think like and granted this this doesn't really get to the question of like is it is it good or like uh -huh. like is there a better way of doing things but i i really think that like uh like i feel like so much of what of what like we do as as americans is trying to like group people into like specific um 
into specific sects because then we can understand understand like you know who like who like who we can get along with who we can have good conversations with and like in who who we feel like maybe maybe we're not a good fit with like you know mm -hmm. um and and because because like a lot of what we're oh you got very quiet all of a sudden yeah. <laughs> yep uh brianna's calling me give me one second okay no <laughs> Well, uh, to fill the void, this far-fetched puzzle thing is real annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I went back into the oh, slowpoke yeah. cave to try to get my encounter, and yeah. it's, it's just this level 5 dugong that I can't do damage to without killing it, but I don't want to just keep chucking pokeballs. Oh, who's my HM slave? It's the, it's the Illumis. Yes. How do I catch this thing? The way is clear. No, but I, I think building off what, what Connor was kind of saying there, uh, I think that that probably is true, that my reaction to not feeling like I belong in the particular groups that people say I might belong in may just be my American individualism shining through. <laughs> or it might be that none of us like the generation that people tell us we are. And that doesn't change the fact that we are a part of that. But I, I just think it's more accurate to to just look at, you know, actual age, because we, we have that as a concrete measurement of time. Yeah. And, yeah. I don't know. It's I would it's say something. Yeah, I get where you're coming from, but I don't I don't share the same like um strong reaction. Yeah. This to this, it. like because I, I have like this strong dissatisfaction every time tries to talk about a particular group and imply that I am a part of that group and it's 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 the attitude here here's what I'll here's one like um when I worked at the library we had just gotten to the point where we were training in right as I left we were starting to train mm -hmm. in students who had never operated a non cell phone phone so they didn't understand things like putting someone on hold or transferring a call or how to operate a number pad Okay. Which is, like, this really interesting thing for me, where, like, and then there was kind of this, I think someone asked me a question, like, th they had to clarify for me, like, well, d we had to train you on that, right? And I'm like, no, I had a landline growing up, I know how these work. <laughs> and so it's like, that's the thing for me, is being, like, like, this assumption that because we are technological we don't still remember a point when the world was different before that so that's that's almost a different a different complaint beyond the generational complaint you know that's almost a different thing entirely mm -hmm. is just talking about how how technology has progressed rapidly and and how i think how i i just i maintain and will will not will not resist I, I will not let go of the fact that i think that there is significance to having been alive at a period in time where we didn't have we couldn't take a phone if you're in the car for a week on a road trip you're not gonna get phone calls you know pe pe people are gonna they can leave a message at home and you're gonna get it when you get back from that car trip like that lack of connection i don't know I've yeah. I've pretty much said everything that I have to say about this at this point. <laughs> I I guess I'm not bothered by it. Oh, good. Metapod I don't know. Maybe maybe you haven't had enough out. interactions with people saying like almost because I almost feel like it it gets used against me, like not intentionally but in passing, you mm -hmm. know. And uh, maybe, yeah, maybe I mean, that's... I was I was gonna say I don't usually have people talk in terms of generation uh -huh. like demeaning or the only time i hear it is like old people talking about like we were the golden generation or what like sure we were, yeah we lived in the golden age of whatever and it's like okay good for you um right. my, my, <laughs> my life sucks uh but, like, i mean thanks <laughs> it's um, like i'm glad you had fun <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That, I, I think that's part fine. of why my reaction is tied into it, though, is because I do hear there's like, well, I did this when I was a kid, so why can't you just do it that way? Right. And, like, 
it's it's a lack of understanding is is what I feel. And Boomers and it does go worse, both ways. Is what we're yeah. Yeah, I Anyway, I feel Connor, like... you got <laughs> Yeah. I want to hear. Connor. I feel like uh I well, I I kind of let me let me try to right. get back my my train of thought here. Um, so like yeah, I think I think like the the level of categorization that that like we're talking about is is kind of inevitable to an mm -hmm. to an extent. And on top of that, I think like thinking about it more like while I was taking the phone call, um, the uh, my main thought that I have about it is I don't feel like I don't feel like I've necessarily been like uh, felt like ridiculed or like put down for like my specific being of like of a millennial or gen z or anything mm -hmm. like that i think like the specifics of like of where i felt like misunderstood is just in terms of my age like just like not sure. necessarily like a representative of the of the generation that that i'm from but just being like oh you're young you don't understand uh -huh. and, yeah. and okay. more more so that than than just like the notion of like oh well you've always had technology around you or like mm. you know like uh anybody talking about like the actual perils of like growing up as a part of gen z and and being a millennial in terms mm -hmm. of like you know the crippling debt or like uh -huh. the impending <laughs> sense of doom due to right. any number of factors like no it's like <laughs> like outside of those like uh like most of the time people just kind of minimize it to like oh you don't have as much life experience and so and so your your worldview is smaller than uh -huh. than mine and so it, it becomes more a thing about what uh being wise than than anything else um so that's that's kind of my my two cents okay yeah, that that's definitely interesting. It's really interesting to for me to hear that you guys don't have this kind of visceral reaction yes. against this. But I think I think maybe maybe I'm talking about several different topics and I framed it as being from the perspective of generations being the thing that bothers me. But it's it's more that there is other other element. The the thing that bothers me more is just that that assumption kind of like Connor, what you were talking about, that assumption that you're too young to understand or you're you're too young to remember this, which is true about a great number of things. That is absolutely yeah. true. But there's a cutoff that I don't know. I, I think yeah, that that tends to get overlooked or forgotten. And yeah. Yeah, I can I can understand that. Uh generally speaking, I'm not really I'm only ever insulted by like attacks on character than anything else mm -hmm. um like if, if someone's just like oh you're you're too young to understand it's like all right uh right I, i'll i'll see you at your funeral in five years i suppose <laughs> like, i mean <laughs> like, i mean i'm the winner here uh <laughs> like all You're right a little bit less understanding zach <laughs> Oh um, right, no. Connor lost his first Pokemon. No, uh, no. which one? Oh, no. Uh, crit headbutt. Uh, that's brutal. Okay. Oh, God. What what died? I, what is a? Uh, it was my uh, it was my Wooper. No. Oh. Yeah. Wooper's best oh. boy. Um, yeah. He was. What a was good your boy. Wooper called? Uh, it was uh, Cranky Pank. <laughs> sure. <laughs> that was probably okay that it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> no longer regrets the death. <laughs> um, in, in terms of like, I, I also kind of get the sense that like, if if someone's like, oh, this generation, you you people of this generation are are you know whatever. Um, it's like I, eventually, what goes around comes around. Like, you could mm -hmm. easily just be that person when you're that age, or you can just decide, hey, I don't. It, like i didn't like that so i'm not gonna be that person and, and right. i think it's fair whatever you choose like I, there's kind of always been the thing of like respect your elders and if they call you a dumb stupid yeah. idiot you just they, either either you are a dumb yes, stupid bad. idiot <laughs> but you just kind of you just kind of like well you're you're old we'll, we'll give you a pass on that one yeah and well, i guess but, i guess that's a clarification that i should make is that i i actually don't necessarily feel <laughs> personally insulted <laughs> You know, 
but it's it's a it's a general sense of dissatisfaction that I have. Okay. Was this a big so, attack that you have taken? Well, so I've got my <laughs> Electivire and I've got my Arcanine. And uh-huh. my Electivire has Forewarn, which is real nice. Oh, yep. I'm up against a Giratina, uh, which is my encounter. I'm like, that's pretty dope. <laughs> yep. However, my Forewarn is like, it's got ancient power. So I'm kind of <laughs> like, mm, eh. oh, mm. Well, Hit him with a thunder shock. Get yeah, him! as long as it doesn't get the stat boosts from that, at least it's not super effective against Electivire. What's Ominous Wind? Uh, that's Surprise. a ghost type move. Ooh, it crit. Mm. And it Ooh. has a chance of raising all the stats. Okay, Arcanine, you're gonna you're gonna get in here and try to hit him, but I don't even did know you, what I can hit you with. Ooh, did you guys get ooh. the uh get the rock smash TM? Nope. R- no, I don't think you uh, can hit it yet. Oh, it's yeah, a TM Fred. Oh, sorry, it's an it's HM. A, it's an HM. It's an yeah. HM. Oh. Yeah. No, I, I didn't grab it. I forgot. Okay. Um, I'm probably supposed to have it. Guess what I just caught as my first encounter in Ilex Forest? Zadu. No. Oh. A Beedrill, but this time it was green. Wait, what? You got a yeah. shiny Beedrill? Are you As kidding me? As my first me? encounter, not even a shiny class. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is that is unbelievable. I threw that one fastball so... and it caught it. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> All right. Uh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Wow. How many points does that give me? <laughs> uh, I'm going to just say five. Like that seems that seems fair, right? I mean, but we did did we determine if shiny Pokemon or more? We, we did. I mean, they count as an additional encounter, but it was your first encounter. Mm. So, does that count as a as a separate encounter, or does oh. he get to still go for something else? I actually didn't consider that. Well, I ran into something. So, oh, it's a Ludicolo. So it's a dupes clause anyway. Wait, no, so shiny, if it's your first encounter, that just fills the first encounter. Role. That's kind of what I like, would assume. Oh, okay. But in terms in terms of points, like I, I feel like you should get extra points. Sure. This yeah. Giratina is so freaking amazing, and I just don't have anything that I can do to catch it. <laughs> like I'm e- I'm either gonna kill it or I'm going to Well, let's see here. Uh yeah, bite would kill it. Um Fire that, Fang, that's go! That's so crazy that you got a shiny. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's, cool. that's a full odds shiny. Which in this game oh. is high. Uh oh. Yeah. Like I think we need to look up real quick what the shiny odds were in Gen Four. I'm googling it. Pokemon, uh, Heart Get Gold, him. or you're in Soul Silver, but whatever. Soul Silver shiny odds. I want them. It's one in eight thousand one hundred ninety-two. Nice. Well, classic Asa, everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, meanwhile, this is like my tenth encounter that I just won't possibly be able to catch. <laughs> uh, blah. It's okay. It's fine. He's just on fire. Um, ha ha! I only hit him with one fire fang, and it just decided we're gonna apply burn this time. Ugh! I'm only getting one shake. Stop dragon breathing me. It's got Dragon Breath, Ominous Wind, Scary Face, and the... Uh, what's the other? Oh, man, I have to try to catch it. But if he crits this attack, that's real bad. We're going for it. Goodbye, Cranky Pank. I'll yeah, goodbye, you. Cranky Pank. Hello, what's your Beedrill going to be called? Oh, that's not good. Do a scary... Oh, no, 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 no. No, that's that's the one move I didn't want you to do. Please don't. Please. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Is, is Electivire gone? Wasn't Electivire. Oh, it was Arcanine. He ancient powered crit my Arcanine. Oh, oh my gosh. Dang. Cool, 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 cool! Uh... <laughs> Get in the ball. That's the only way this game and this life can make it up to me. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Get. Blah. 
Haha, <laughs> your ominous wind doesn't affect me, you stupid Giratina. Nate. Alright, so that's a good place to, to end it. Um... <laughs> um, I just went into a trainer battle, so. Alright, I'll just walk the land without my Arcanine then. Um. Dang. Ooh, Asa gets a, a shiny beetle. <laughs> it's a level get... 5 shiny beetle. <laughs> do, do you think the level matters to me? <laughs> <laughs> I have a well. max revive that I can't use on my Arcanine. Um, uh, I'll take that. You're not gonna need it anymore. I was I was just waiting for the pseudo Wudo to use explosion. I like I was like I don't think he gets it, but I just waiting for it because pseudo Wudo, <laughs> and that stupid smirk on his face, would <laughs> use explosion. <laughs> Wait. Okay, no, it's not. It's not the static encounter, Sudowoodo. No. no. No, it's not. Found. I was like. <sighs> well. That's a uh, yeah. That's a rough time. All around. Except not all around, mostly on Saturday. Yeah, it's it's, it's just <laughs> it's just Zach sides. So, Kingsley. <laughs> Kingsley's lamenting the loss yeah, of his fellow is. canine brethren. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> the the annoying thing is that the the Giratina was at a point where like it looked like it was gonna die from burn. So mm. if I healed, then I'd just miss the opportunity to right. catch it in general. Yeah. So I decided to to go for a catch, and then he ended up surviving the burn and then just ancient power oh my god dang <sighs> well that just goes to show you please. people people of this generation don't even know how to play pokemon <laughs> 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 that's the most insulting thing to me when my elder my ability to play pokemon, pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> that really Wait. bites my soul <laughs> <laughs> You know what really bites my soul? Is that even um No it really <laughs> grinds my gears. Right. No, Wait, let's, don't let's I... have bites my soul be a new uh yeah, a new saying. Good. Do you know what really rends my soul from my body? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that's better. Just twist it out of there and just you feel the grinding of the bones and everything. <laughs> People don't know the soul is you can take it out of a person's body physically. If you if you try real hard and are not worried about inflicting a lot of pain. All right, are we all good? This, yeah, we're good. This, okay. <laughs> well, anyway, Sorry. Oh, we're still waiting on Asa. All right. Um, I just need to get out of my bag. I'm good. Okay. Well, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, someone else do the outro. Uh, <laughs> yeah. thank, we'll catch you next week on. We'll, we'll see you next time, whenever that is. We'll be talking about an undisclosed topic at the moment because we have not disclosed it to ourselves. It might be, which Pokemon would you take to dinner? It might not be. So, bye! <laughs> 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 <laughs>